All right, so these notes are um, on our geometry 10.7, the area of circles and sectors. Now, we obviously know the area of a circle is pi r squared, but we want to know if we were to buy the 12 inch diameter pizza or the 10 inch diameter pizza, which one would be smarter? How much more pizza would we get? Would it be worth, worth the cost? So you just make sure you have the date here up in the right hand corner. And we'll try to work through this. Well, 12 is the diameter, of course, so I think we know that the radius of the first one is, in fact, 6 inches. And we know that the radius of the second one, and we'll change colors for that, the radius of the second one is mm, 10 inches, which is kind of weird that the second one is smaller, but that's okay. And the radius is actually 5, even though I said 10, so don't listen to that. So now we've got to do the area. So we'll call this area 1, area of the first circle. So area of the first circle, pi times radius squared, which is actually 6 inches. I kind of want to use this as a little second to just talk about that. So if I have 6 inches raised to the second, wouldn't that be 6 times 6 and inches times inches? Would you agree with that? So we have pi, right, times 36. But what about the inches? Inches times inches is? Inches, inches squared, right. Like smiley face times smiley face is smiley face squared. And x times x is x squared. So we have 36 pi inches is our final answer. So we always put the pi towards the end and then the unit's at the very end, and it's squared. I didn't say that, but it is. So that's the area of our first pizza. That's how much pizza you would get. Um, the area of our second pizza is simply pi r squared, which is 5 inches squared. So we need to take 5 inches and multiply it by 5 inches. Let me slow-mo that for you. So that means you take 5 inches and you multiply it by 5 inches. So that's kind of what's going on here. 5 times 5 is 25. That's that. Inches times inches is? Inches to the second power. And we have a pi. Oops, I should have put the pi in front of the inches squared. That's OK. This thing should, oh, that's unfortunate. OK. OK. 25 pi inches squared is area 2. So we can find out how much more pizza we got with the first pizza if we just subtract them. So 36 minus 25, with a pi attached, of course, is 11 pi inches. So 11 pi inches squared more pizza. But that doesn't make a lot of sense to us. So we would take that and multiply it by 3.14, um, 15926. And that would come out to, I think we had that earlier. Does somebody want to help me with that? Cool, 34.558 or 34.6. So we could say 34.6 inches squared, or we could say 34.55. I think it comes up to 58 inches squared. Uh, either one of these is acceptable, but if you plan on moving into higher math, you've got to keep a few more decimal places so rounding the three wouldn't be the end of the world. So hopefully that's a quick, nice intro to uh, area of sectors of a circle. Because we're going to talk about sectors of a circle in a second. So the sector of a circle is the region bounded by an arc of the circle. We know the arc is the thing on the outside, the circumference, I guess you could say. And the two radii of the arc's endpoints. Naming a sector, you name it by using one arc endpoint, the center of the circle, and the second arc endpoint. So in other words, you want to put the center of the circle in the middle and say sector AOB. And usually we just say sector AOB, like we don't have a symbol for that too much. So area of a sector of a circle, pretty straightforward. It's very similar to finding arc length if you have done that. Yes, arc length of a circle. So arc length of a circle is the percentage or the decimal or the fraction of how much of the circle you have multiplied by the circumference. This is the decimal or the fraction or the percentage of the circle you have multiplied by the area. And that will give us the area of the orange uh, piece right there. That's called the sector. That's sector AOB. So that should be pretty straightforward. So let's just go ahead and try it. I don't think it'll be too bad. Finding the area of a sector of a circle. 
So phi in the area of sector zom, leave your answer in terms of pi, just for simplicity's sake. And it's kind of saying that you want to find the measure of the angle, or sorry, the, s the measure of the arc, and divide that by 360. So I guess what I want to do is just simply part over whole. If I keep it real simple, we go back in the day. Part divided by whole. So we know a whole circle has 360 degrees, and our part of our circle has 72 degrees. That's our percentage or portion or piece of our circle that we have. Um, 72 over 360, I think they both divide by 9. 9 times 8 and 9 times 40, hopefully. And I think that will then go to 4 goes into that 10 times and 4 goes into that 2 times, so maybe 1 fifth. So the way we can check that is 72 times 5 then should be uh, 360. So I'll check that with my calculator here. I'm pulling that up. So 5 times 72 is 360. So we know we have one fifth of a circle here. So all we need is one fifth of an area. So it's pretty simple. We need to find the area, and I'm going to split this to give us a little more space. We need to find the area of the whole circle, which is going to be pi r squared. And then we need to multiply that area by one-fifth. So we need one-fifth of the area. And of means multiply as you've been taught for many years. So we have simply 20 times 20 is 400. Centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. Pi is still there and one-fifth is still there. We could probably reduce pretty simply. We could say that um, 400 divided by 5 could happen. So I think that's going to be 80, hopefully. Uh, 80 sound good to you? Yes? Okay. So we have 80 pi centimeters squared. And now, just for confidence, we'll check our answer with uh, what I have written down here. Make sure that it comes out to that. 80 pi centimeters squared. Yep, that's right. So the area of the sector, Z-O-M, is that. So you might want to write area of sector z o m is 80 pi centimeters squared because <coughs> we can't say the area of the circle is so we should be a little bit more specific than that now you know um probably better than i do <coughs> your teacher how specific they want you to be uh area of the sector z o m is probably your best bet to be safe now here I'm looking at another problem. It says a circle has diameter of 20. What is the area of the sector rounded by a 208 major arc? So what I'd encourage you to do is stop and try to figure that out on your own. So pause the video and give this problem a shot. Okay, so just to make sure we're okay with this, um, let's just try this problem with some different um, options. So let's say we had a circle that had diameter of, I don't know, we'll say that this circle has diameter of 16, okay, inches, okay? And then what is the area, and if it's a 60 degree arc, okay? And that's not a major arc, but we'll just call it an arc. So let me take you through the process of this again. We want to know our area of our circle, right? We want to know the area of our circle, which is pi r squared, right? And then we want to multiply that by the, the the percent, right, or the decimal or the fraction of the circle that we have. We don't have the whole circle. We have 60 degrees out of 360. 60 degrees out of 360 is what as a fraction? 60 out of 360, it's one-sixth. So we know we really have one-sixth of a circle. We could put one-sixth there or we could write out the whole thing. So whatever I was saying, let me uh, just try to jump back on that. We need 60 out of 360. So I'm using this, right? The whole circle is 360. We know that this is 60. Now we can write that, or of course, it's dangerous, but we could reduce it in our heads. We know 60 out of 360 is a sixth. So we need a sixth of the area. That's all we need, a sixth of the area. So the area of the sector is a sixth of the actual area, which is pi times the radius squared, which in this case, the radius is therefore 8 inches. 
So it's going to be 64 inches squared because 8 times 8, right, is 64. A sixth of 64. So it's 64 divided by 6 pi inches squared. That's the area of our sector. I did not round. I did not reduce. I probably could do that. I'm trying to save myself a little bit of time. So 32 over 3 pi inches squared. Does that seem OK to everybody? Because we're going to move on to something different now, which is called a, um, a segment of a circle. A little bit more work, but still going to build on that skill. So let's look at that for just a second. A segment of a circle is actually like this right here, right? This, this little, um, I don't know. This little chip, I guess you could say, off of the circle. That is a segment. As you can see, it's right there in orange. Now, you notice that a segment kind of resembles a sector, right? But there's a triangle missing from it. So you're going to need to be able to find the sector and then take away the triangle. Notice below, it kind of says, so if you just, if you just like basically take what's called a chord. Have you heard the word chord before? Maybe not. No? So chord, just so you have some exposure, you don't need to memorize this, but a chord is anything that cuts across the circle but doesn't go through the center. If it goes through the center, it's a diameter. So that's a chord. A tangent is one that just touches the outside. Don't worry about it, but it's just a vocab word. It's not bad to hear it once or twice. So this is a chord, and um, that's not a bad word for you to know, but you don't have to know it. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the area of that whole sector and take away the triangle, and that will give us that part. So you could think of it almost like the crust of the pizza in a way. I mean, don't think of it as length. Think of it as an area. So it's like the crust, but you ate it flat. You know what I mean? Make sense, sort of-ish? You didn't eat all the way down to the crust. You left some extra. Okay. So to find the area of a segment, we're simply going to find the area of the sector find the area of the triangle, and then we're going to subtract them. Step one, find the area of the sector. We did that on the previous page. Step two, find the area of the triangle. We're doing that in just a moment, and then we'll subtract them to get our answer. So let's do it. Let's do it. So here's what I have for an example. So don't forget this part. It's hopefully on your note handout. So the area of the sector is always going to be the measure of that thing divided by 360, that's the part, that's the portion of it. So what portion of a circle are we dealing with here in this situation? Are we dealing with a tenth, an eighth, a half? How much of a circle do we have here? Yes? A fourth, one quarter of a circle. Does everybody understand why we have a quarter of a circle? It's 90 degrees. 90 divided by 360 is, of course, one fourth. But in some senses, you know 90 degrees is going to fill that thing up four times. So it can help to think about it logically versus trying to do the formula every time. Of course, some situations you're going to want to do the formula, right? You're just going to want to. It comes out really ugly. So we know that our, our area of our circle is going to be pi r squared, pi r squared. That's that. We need to multiply that by a quarter. That's the area of our sector. So it's a quarter times pi r squared. So that's 100 pi divided by 4. So that's 25 pi inches squared. If that doesn't sound good to you, just let me know. Hopefully that's doing OK. So 10 times 10 is 100. 100 divided by 4. I did things out of, op out of order because it's commutative property of multiplication. We can multiply in any order, shuffle them all around put the pi at the end, put the inches squared at the end. 25 pi inches squared. Yes? Okay. So that's the area of the sector. So now we move on to find the area of the triangle. Because we've got to take away the triangle, obviously, because we just want that pizza crust. So the area of the triangle is 1 half base times height. So 1 half, what's the base of that triangle? 10. What's the height of that triangle? 10. Very good. By the way, it's 10 inches and 10 inches. So that means we're going to have inches squared in the final answer. So we're going to have 1 half times 100 inches squared. And a half of 100 is 50 inches squared. Great. 
So that's where we're at, and we now have the area of the triangle. So we know that the area of the whole thing is um, right here. I shouldn't have used black, but this is the area that we found first in black. And then we found the area of the triangle, which is in red, so that's all of this, right? And if we subtract the red from the black, we'll have the orange left over. I'll erase that because it's terribly ugly. <coughs> so what we're going to do is subtract the two. Um, so, little weird. One of them has pi, one of them doesn't. They say round to the nearest tenth. So, could somebody just do 25 times pi for me? Uh, just so we have the gist of that there. 25 times pi. 78.5. And then that's going to be inches squared. And then here we have minus 50 inches squared. So, all we need to do is... I simplified that from up above. I took the 50 inches squared. They're both inches squared. 78 minus 50 is 28.5 inches squared. So that should be our final answer for the area of the segment of the circle. I mean, I don't know about you, but I mix those words up a lot, segment and sector. That's a segment of a circle. And 28.5 inches squared agrees with my answer key. So that's really exciting. Um, so what we want to do now is just kind of see where we're at in the video. We're getting a little over time. Let's see what else we've got to talk about here. Um, I think we might have made it, yes? Wow, we did it. Okay, so what I want to just say is, um, you know, you had an issue, pause it, rewind, check out what's going on. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.